Welcome to my engineering drawing playlist. Today I will be explaining problem on projections of plane and that is related to the circular plate. That means here the plane is the circle. Let's see first of all the description of the given problem. Draw the projections of a circle of 50 mm diameter having its plane vertical and inclined at 30 degree to the VP. Its center is 30 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of the VP. Any problem related to the projection of plane, first you should ask the very simple question so that it will be very helpful to solve the problem. So read the problem carefully and try to give the answer of the following questions. First, surface inclined to which plane? Can you give me the answer my dear friends? Yes. Next, assumption for initial position that means the plane is either parallel to HP or parallel to VP. Next, which view will show true shape that means either front view or top view. And last one, which side will be the vertical. Here you can see this is actually the circular plate. So there will be no any side. Now let's see one by one all the question. So let's start from the first. Surface inclined to which plane? So here it is given to you the circle which is inclined at 30 degree to the VP. So the answer is VP. Next, assumption for initial position. Here the surface is inclined to VP. So definitely you should assume the plane is parallel to VP initially. If the surface is inclined to HP, then definitely you should assume the plane is parallel to HP. So keep in mind this very important point. Now once again, if the plane is parallel to VP, then definitely you should get the true shape in the front view. If the plane is parallel to HP, then definitely you will get the true shape in the top view. Now here there is a circular plate. So this question is not related to this problem. So not for circle. Here true shape will be the front view so that I should start my drawing with the front view. And you know that front view of the circular plate is circle as a true shape and it must be above x y line. Now try to understand the given position of the plane that means the position of the circle with reference to HP and VP. So here this is the circular plate. If you assume the plane is parallel to HP in the first stage, then the position of the circle will be like this. And here you can see, then you can incline the circular plate with HP. But here the circular plate is inclined to VP. So the circle must be assumed parallel to VP in the first stage like this. And then you can incline with the VP like this. One more important point. Here this is the center of the circle. That is right now actually on the VP. But here it is given to you. Its center is 30 mm above HP. That means from the horizontal plane the center is 30 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP. In this position actually the center of the circle is on VP but it is given to you 20 mm in front of VP. So it is like this 20 mm in front of VP. So it will be like this 20 mm in front of VP. And 30 mm above HP. So this is 30 mm. So this is actually the position of the circular plate for the first stage. Then in the second stage, I will incline the circular plate with the VP like this. So here you can see it is inclined with the VP. So here we have assumed the plane is parallel to VP in the first stage so that the true shape will be in the front view. So I should start with the front view first and then you should follow this sequence. 
like as a square view form. So start with the front view that is above XY line. So first of all, draw the horizontal line, draw the front view as a circle above XY line. Here once again, keep in mind that the center of the circle is 30 mm above HP. So if you see in the front view, then you can see the center of the circle, which is 30 mm above the HP. So first I am taking the reference line for the center of the circle, which is 30 mm above XY line. Now I can select any one point on this line as a center of circle. Let's say it is C dash. Now with the help of the compass, you can draw the circle over here. The diameter is given to you 50 mm so that the radius is 25 mm. So set the compass as 25 mm radius. Take C dash as the center. Draw the circle. Next. The dimension is given to you so it should be mentioned over here. So diameter is 50 mm. Now divide the circle into the 12 equal parts. You can divide the circle into the 8 equal parts also. Next give the name. So you can start from anywhere but it should be in the sequence. Definitely it is a front view so it is with the dash. Now once again very important point. If you see the top view then you can see the center that is actually 20 mm in front of VP. So first I am going to draw the line which is 20 mm from the XY line. So you can say the center of the circle must be on this line. Now draw the projection from these all points. So you will get the corresponding point. Here it is 2 dash 12 dash so it must be 2 12. Similarly 3 11 then 4 10 over here then 5 9 then 6 8 then at last 7. Again keep in mind this is the top view so the name of the point must be without dash. In the top view you can see the circle as a straight line. So this is the center of the circle and this is the top view. Keep in mind that in the examination all the projection must be as light as possible. So up to here it is the first stage. Now here in the first stage we have assumed the plane is parallel to VP. So in the second stage it must be inclined to VP. And you know that the inclination of the VP is always below XY line. So look at the description. The inclination of the VP is given to you as 30 degree. So you can draw the line which is 30 degree to this XY line with the help of the set square. So once again, look at this 3D figure. The length of the top view will remain same in the first and second stage. Only the position will be the different. So the length of the front view will be replaced over here as it is. But again, keep in mind that here it is given to you. The center of the circle must be 30 mm above the HP and 20 mm in front of the VP. So 20 mm in front of the VP. So this is actually the reference line for the center of the circle. So extend it up to here. So this is the position of the center point. This is fixed because of it must be 20 mm from the XY line. Now you have to replace over here this top view. So with the help of the compass, you can transfer the distance by taking C as the reference. So you can draw the arc over here. So you will get 7 and on this side you will get 1. So give the name over here as 7 and here it is 1. Similarly, you can transfer the remaining distance with the help of the compass. Now draw the vertical projection from each point. So it is like this with the help of the roller scale. Then draw the horizontal projection from each point with the help of the roller scale. And now you can see this is the 
horizontal projection from 4 dash and here it is vertical projection from 4 dash. So the intersection will be 4 dash. Similarly, you can find the remaining point like this. And at last over here 10 dash. Joint all the points by the smooth curve because of it is the circular plate. So you can draw the smooth curve with the help of the French curve or with the free hand. So this is actually second stage. Again, here we have assumed in the first stage plane is parallel to VP. So in the second stage it must be inclined to VP. And in the third stage it must be inclined to HP. But here the inclination with the HP is not given to you. So the problem is over here. Again here your second stage is the answer. So in the second stage the top view and front view must be the dark. In the first stage if you have the time then you can draw the dark front view and top view. But your projection must be light. At last which animation would you like most in this video? Write your answer in the comment box. Thanks my dear friend for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate it.